Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got a casamara or white sapote to share with you all. I'm going to be tasting this and just showing you the inside of the fruit. And we're also going to be growing these from seeds. And I'll show you at the end of the video the results of how we go with the growing. So it will all be in this one video. So where I'm sitting right now is in front of our white sapote tree. And we've got some shade cloth around it just to protect it from the wind. This one here we planted around 18 months ago. And at the time it was almost dead. We bought it on sale for about $6. And usually they cost around 50 here in New Zealand. And we've brought it back to life. It's looking really good now. So I'm super happy that we've been able to give it a second chance at life. And hopefully it will fruit for us in the next couple of years. So these white sapotes didn't come from this tree behind me. These ones came from a massive mature fruiting tree that I came across. It was absolutely loaded with fruit. The amount of fruit on there was just crazy. I was pretty mind blown with how productive these trees can be. And this tree was obviously quite old and mature, but it just shows how massive these trees can really get. So I'm super excited to one day have a tree as productive as that one. But I found some fruit on the ground under the tree and I did grab a couple from the tree as well. And these ones right now have been actually sitting in my fridge for the last couple of weeks. I've been wanting to do a video, but I just haven't had a chance until now. But although they are like really soft, you can see there, they're super soft, but I think you can eat them when they are like that and they do sweeten up the softer they get. So I think it will be all good. But anyway, let's cut this open and we'll take a look and have a taste of it. Wow, look at that. So this is one of the seeds here. Looks pretty massive. And that's what we're gonna be growing later on. Very cool. Let's take a bit of this fruit. That is really, really good. That's super sweet, really tropical tasting. It's kind of a bit like mango, but like really, really smooth. There's no fiber at all in it. It just melts in your mouth really good that's super tasty I'll take a little bit more i actually think these are like the perfect ripeness i can't really see how you'd improve on that flavor it's just really really good yeah super sweet super tropical really tasty fruit but these are related to citrus and they don't to me taste at all like citrus you can see the seed here and this actually looks like a massive orange seed um, or lemon tree seed super amazing but we'll go and take a look at these anyway and have a go at growing them from seed. So let's get on to that now. All right, so these are the seeds close up and you can see that they really do just look like massive citrus seeds. There's some smaller ones and these ones I wouldn't recommend planting if you've got heaps of the big ones because the big ones are probably gonna go better. So I'm gonna mainly just plant these ones today because I've got quite a few of them. Now the experiment I wanted to try today was grow some just planting them directly into the soil and then I thought we would actually take the skin off a few of the seeds and see if they grow better like that or grow any faster. And this is what the seed looks like with the husk removed. I'm just filling these pots up halfway with potting mix and then filling the rest of it up with seed raising mix. I just find that the seed raising mix is a bit more of a cleaner mix to have indoors, but then as the plant grows and gets a bit bigger, the roots will hit the potting mix at the bottom and get a few more nutrients out of that. Okay, so time to plant the seeds and I'm gonna be putting these around an inch deep in the soil at least. They are quite large seeds, so you can get away with putting them fairly deep. And I'm just placing them on their side in a horizontal position. So it's only 8 o'clock at night at the moment and I'm feeling really tired and I have actually just read that if you eat white sapote, like quite a few of them, it does actually make you quite sleepy. And I only had three, I don't know if that's many or, or what, but I'm usually not this tired at this time so maybe it has had that effect on me, who knows. Anyway, I'm off for a sleep, I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, so for the last couple of weeks, I've had the seeds on a heat mat, and I've also had these bottles put over the top just to help retain some moisture, because I do find that the heat pad does dry the soil out pretty quickly. And also the bottles do help to increase the humidity a bit as well. All right, so these pots over here are the ones that have the seeds in that I've removed the husk off. And as you can see, we've got one that sprouted here, and there's actually two that sprouted. This one's only just coming through the soil now. So good results there so far. As for the seeds that still had the husk on and I just left them as normal, those ones are not sprouting just yet. So we'll just have to keep seeing how those ones go and see if they can catch up. 
So I did also decide to put one of each type of seed within a damp paper towel in a container just to kind of see what the roots look like and how they come out of the seed and just to show you actually what the little seed looks like as it's sprouting because you don't really get to see that if you plant it in soil. So as you can see here, the one that did have the husk removed is actually growing really well and a lot bigger and stronger than the other one. The other one did have some issues with mold growing on the outer husk of the seed and also just in general it's taken a bit longer to sprout. But anyway, we'll just get them planted in some soil and see how they turn out. Alright, so it looks as though we've got some pretty interesting results here. So the seeds that had the husk removed all have sprouted now. They're taking off and they're looking nice and healthy. You can see the one in the middle there is a lot bigger than the other three but all in all they've all sprouted perfectly and looking good. As for the other seeds, one has just sprouted uh, but nothing from the other three yet. So I'm still fairly confident that they will all sprout but they're just taking a little bit longer. Hey guys, I'm just editing at the moment and I realised I forgot to mention that with these plants they don't actually grow true to type which means that the fruit that you end up getting from them eventually will probably be not as good as the plant it came from. Uh, there is a small chance that you will get your own fruit that is really, really good, but most of the time it won't be as good as the original plant. So my plan for these plants is to actually graft onto them when they're a bit bigger, and that way I will end up with a fruit that is the same as whatever I graft onto it, and it will mean that they'll fruit a lot sooner as well. They'll probably fruit in three to four years as opposed to maybe seven or eight years. Anyway, back to the video. All right, you guys, so time for the final results of the Casamara or white sapote seedlings. And these are the ones over here that have the no skin on the seeds, and these are the ones that the seeds were just left intact. So we'll start with these ones over here. And as you saw earlier, these all took longer than the other ones to sprout. They came up second. They're looking good. You can see that, you know, some are slightly bigger than others, but for the most part, they're all growing, you know, really well and nice and healthy looking little seedlings. Now, taking off the tops of these ones over here, again, these are the ones that sprouted first. And looking at them, they look actually more healthy than these ones over here. Not too sure if that's just a coincidence or just because they're slightly older, they've had more chance to grow more leaves. But like these two here look quite leggy and like particularly this one doesn't have that many leaves. But these ones look really, really good. For the most part, either method works just fine. So it's really up to personal preference and how much time you have, you know, because obviously it takes a little bit more time just to remove that outer shell with these ones here, but then they do sprout a little bit faster. There's also just a little bit of risk here as well of damaging the seed. So if you want to just do the quick and easy way, just chuck the seeds directly into soil and you should get some seedlings really easily. So as for the seedlings that I started in the paper towels, these are both of them here. And a similar things happened. This over here is a lot bigger and that's the one that I removed the outer husk of and it's grown faster and it's you know germinated quicker. And then this is the one that I just left in the little seed husk and still growing well, nothing wrong with it at all. But yeah, interesting that I got the same results from the paper towel. And you know, this is another way you could do it if you really wanted to. But I personally think it's a lot easier just to chuck them in into some soil straight away. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video about the white sapote. And if you guys enjoyed it or maybe learned something, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next experiment. Alright guys, have a good rest of your day, we'll see you soon.